the grand finale of the conference. We heard many technical presentations, we saw demonstrations, we had very lively discussions both in plenary and in the workshops. Let's now see where this all brings us. What are the future perspectives of the AXIS project achievements? Peter already presented some, but let's hear more. Let's see what we can discover on the future perspective. Or more concretely, and also recalling the aims of the conference, you may recall the two key questions in the aim for this conference. First, can the AXIS testbed results improve accessibility and help mariners take safe and effective decisions when navigating the North Sea area? And the second one, can the results offer practical contributions to the future global implementation of the e-navigation framework? And in addition to those two questions, I think two other related questions very much popped up during the conference. The first being, what can we do to speed up the practical implementation and application of all the beautiful new things you have invented? And the second one, already partly addressed by, by Peter, what's next? What's next? And of course, that, that what, what's next question is very much related to the other one. How can we make speed? How can we avoid, well, just sitting back and waiting for international fora, uh, work on it, and maybe see the results of further work only after five, six, seven years? <coughs> We will start debating those questions in an hour, but to provide you with even further context information and, and I'm sure food for thought for the debate, we have invited four excellent speakers who will each present their views from different perspectives, that of safety and accessibility, that of shipping, in particular that of the mariner, and I'm very glad that the search and rescue operation to find the Mariana has succeeded. He's Captain Van Wijnen is here. Uh, the perspective of the environment and the perspective of the ports.